Hey guys, OG Albina here, bringing you guys our BBL week four battle against Bosov and his Detroit Kecleons. I believe it's week four. Hold on, now I'm gonna check. Let me double check. Sorry guys. Um, but yeah, we're playing up. Uh, we're going up against Bosov and his Detroit Kecleons. We played him back in pack, and we ended up snagging a dub. It was a bit of a hacksy game, but it was definitely a fun game, nonetheless. Yeah, week four. Um, so I'm hoping we can snag the dub against him here. We do have a very, very tough matchup against his Ubers and an Ubers league that's uh, that's not the best thing in the world. So we'll see what we can end up doing. Um, I think we have the squad to do it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new here, be sure to drop a sub. For plenty of Pokemon content each and every week. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the team builder. Gonna do this really quick before the battle. Um, you can jump ahead to the battle itself if you don't want to sit through the team builder. There's a timestamp on the screen and in the description below on when that starts. But yeah, let's go and jump into it. Our team, if you did forget, consists of Ho-Oh, Zygarde, Slowbro, Neolego, Azelf, Steelix, Licky Licky, Comfey, Tyranitar, Decidueye, Drillbur, and Galarian Meowth. While our opponent's team is at the bottom of the screen, and it consists of Kiram White. Landorus, I was sheer force, Slowking, Terrakion, um, Galar Weezing, Ronzong, Serena, Persian Alola, Spectre, Audino, Rotom Fan, and Lilip. Now, biggest stretch to me, Kieran White and Landorus. I sack a Pokemon every time. They're absolutely ridiculous for me to switch into Specs Kieran and Life Orb Landorus. That's it. Um, I have a lot of trouble switching into them. Like, a ton of trouble switching into them. Slowking, pretty annoying to break, but I feel like I do have sufficient ways of breaking it. Uh, Terrakion, I also sack a Pokemon every time, because spoilers, I am not bringing Slowbro, and we'll get into why in a little bit. Um, other than that, I actually feel like I deal with his offense very well. I think Spectre is a doo-doo butter Pokemon, and I probably wouldn't bring it versus me, to be completely honest, just because I have Guitar plus Licky, and that usually stops Spectre here. Um, fortunately, which is really, really nice. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into our first member, which is going to be Holo. This is going to be our main win con this week. We're rocking on with Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Flame Charge, Roost, with Heavy Duty Boots, our Item, Regenerator as our ability, with 124 HP, 180 Attack, and 204 Speed with an Atom in Nature. Eevee's voice are Creeping, Rotom Creeping, Decidueye, we 2 KO on Max, Max, Slowking after Stealth Rock. Sorry about that, my alarm just said wake up, even though I'm awake. Um, and then we have the rest in our HP. Like I said, with some chip on some things prior, um, and we get up a flame charge on something like a Bronzong or, you know, uh, anything like that, we can cure him because we will always live a hit from cure him and things like that. This thing can honestly win on its own. Brave Bird plus Sacred Fire is ridiculously spammable. Um, we just need to get that prior chip uh, beforehand. And even if not, we can throw around Sacred Fires and snag some uh, really, really useful burns and things like that, obviously, on the rest of um, Bosu's team. So Holmes ho -Oh is very, very good in this matchup for sure. <laughs> Next up, we have Decidueye, rocking out with the Culver Berry. Um, oh my gosh, what's, what's, why am I forgetting its just regular ability? Am I that dumb? It's that early. Um, Overgrow has its ability. Leaf Storm, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Roost. We get 236 HP, 28 defense, 92 special attack, 4 speed death, and 148 speed with a modest nature. Eevee's Wise, we're creeping 12 speed Rotom. We live a Life Orb, Stone Edge from Terrakion after rocks, and then we have the rest into our special attack. This is a decent pivot into something like, uh, you know, the Landorus. Um, it's really here uh, and the Terrakion, I suppose, to an extent, depending on what it clicks. But this is realistically here to really punish that fat core of Slowking plus Bronzong. Uh, we can Nasty Plot up on both of them. And when we're Nasty Plot up, it's very, very difficult for Bosa to switch into this, especially if Rocks are up and his Kyrim's not Boots. Um, plus two Shadow Ball does a ridiculous amount. And uh, we can honestly break through his team pretty well with this Pokemon if we do position it well. And it also has great defensive utility. So I really like this set a lot. I think it does some, uh, some pretty good work, especially in breaking down that really fat, annoying defensive core of Slowking plus Bronzong. That kind of gives us trouble otherwise. <laughs> Next up, we have our Zygarde rocking out the leftovers. Aura Break is its ability. A thousand arrows, Dragon Dance, Protect, and Toxic. Eevee's supposed to get 204 HP. 140 speed def and 164 speed with an atom in nature. Eevee's wise, we got the same speed as Ho-Oh, so we're creeping, uh, Rotom creeping Decidueye. We live two Life Orb Earth Power from Landers after lefties and a Protect. And then we have the rest in our attack, which just lets us go with an atom in nature, which is nice and just a little bit more Eevee efficient that way, opposed to going, um, you know, careful and then, you know, things like that. But yeah, this is also another potential great win con. If we could trip down this arena, which we can do ourselves with Protect plus Toxic and then Sand and, you know, you know, a bunch of different things like that. I think we can check down this arena pretty darn well. And if we can do that, 
Um, Arrows is ridiculously free against this team. If we get up a couple DDs, we can uh, really, really put the hurt on our opponent, which is honestly going to be um, the main end goal for this set, for sure. Um, yeah, it, it's realistically just chipping down at Serena, maybe just chipping down at Slow King as well, if it's more physically defensive. Um, and then from there, we can get a plus one, plus two, and really go to town. Protect is not only good for Toxic and, you know, Toxic protects stalling things, but also just to gain residual back with our lefties as well, which is uh, something that's also very, very clutch uh, for sure. Let's go on to the next Pokemon, which is going to be our Tyranitar. Rocking out the Assault Vest for like the 83rd time this season already. Uh, Sandstream is its ability. Front, Focus Punch, focus, uh, Rock Blast, and Ice Punch. EVs wise, we got 220 HP, 84 attack, 4 defense, 156 special defense, and at 44 speed with a careful nature. I think it's careful that's minus attack. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but regardless, this is going to be our main pivot into things like uh, the Kyurem, the Landorus, and even the Spectrier. Um, if Spectrier is here, we have to be a little bit more smart with it. But this thing does do well offensively, too. Um, Cruncher's Block Blast really doesn't have great switch-ins on my opponent's team. Uh, Rock Blast is in case it's a sub Kyurem. Don't want to let that thing sub for free. Uh, and then Audino is what we're catching with that big, big focus punch. It does a clean 80% to Audino. does an absolute ton. Whereas if it's if we're like superpower or something like that, it can actually potentially wish stall is pretty easy. So I like being able to go for a focus punch, potentially catching that thing. It also hits the Persian very, very hard. Um, and it's an absolute nuke on the Terrakion one. The switch in hard as well and aggressive, like trying to catch the crunch. So I feel like focus punch has a lot of upside um, and not as much downside as a lot of people in my front office might have thought when I built this set. Ice Punch is obviously the Kessel Landers as well. We nuke it. We live pretty much anyone hit from it. Um, I didn't really go over the EVs, so we live two Landers, I, Life Orb, Eth, or Eth Powers, Earth Powers before rocks. We have speed for creeps and the rest into our attack. And uh, yeah, that's going to be big Tyranitar. And then lastly, we have, uh, I mean, second to lastly, we have Comfey, Rock and Aldranicus, Wrong Therapy, U Turn Toxic, Triage and Stability, Leftovers as its item. We pretty much got max HP, max Pedef. <laughs> Um, this serves as like at least a pivot to Kyurem. We can take two non-specs hits and it lets us know if it is specs. We can throw off Toxics and we can get off Aromatherapies for the rest of our team, which is really nice. We don't really need speed because I'm not worried about outspeeding Kyurem uh, because we can just drink and kiss that thing. It's just going to be our main way of hitting it. Um, and yeah, everything else kind of either outspeeds us or underspeeds us. Toxic is good for things like Sloking if we can catch it on the Toxic or the um, Audito or the... Uh, excuse me. The Serena trying to get in hard because of its Queenly Majesty or something like that. You turn grabs some momentum and the free Bronzong and Weezing that this thing offers in. And then Aromatherapy is to keep the rest of our team uh, status free, especially our Tyranitar. <laughs> and then lastly, we have Heavy Duty Boots, Sturdy Steelix, rocking out with Iron Head, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Ice Fang. 196 HP, max attack, and 60 speed with an adamant nature. Um, we are creeping 44 speed soaking. We are adamant max attack and the rest of our speed. This is a cool like uh-oh kind of button mainly here for landers and terrakion <laughs> heavy duty boots plus sturdy ensures that we always live one hit unless it's kirim if it's specs kirim it kills us or if it's just like earth power kirim it kills us uh and turbo blaze goes through our sturdy so that's something to keep in mind um i do realize that going in but it's more so here for terrakion and landers which i don't have good switch to on this team at all um, and being able to lure those things is really, really clutch. If we get any damage off on Landers prior, Ice Fang does KO it. Um, and then Earthquake does a ridiculous amount of Terrakion as well, which is good to know. Um, and yeah, it's kind of just an uh oh button. It's also a guaranteed rocker if we really need rocks in a situation. And it does pretty well offensively, especially if it goes Heat Proof Bronze on. Um, it really does uh, do really, really well in this matchup, which is uh, something cool to note as well. But yeah, that's going to be the team builder. I'll be right back with the match. Alrighty, guys, here we are with the battle. We are connected with. Uh, Mr. Bosov. Let's see what he brought. Again, presumably all of the scary stuff. Um, I gotta hide my face as I always do because, uh, you know, we, I need to start sitting on my green screen more, but I never want to because it takes a long time. <laughs> we have Ronzong. Oh, there's no spec. Let's go. That's so nice. Uh, like, I know spec probably isn't the best for me with the team that I actually have, um, but the build that I have was a little bit liable to get weakened by spec. So now I can, uh, it takes a lot of pressure off of Tar. Um, and I don't have to worry about being Whiffs anymore. Slow King. Um, then we have Terrakion. The Tuchon Terrakion. And then we have Serena. Um, now as for a lead, I think the best lead for me in all honesty is probably Decidueye. Um, it leads Volivers anything not named Hiram. Um, <coughs> sorry. 
Leaf Dwell versus anything not named Kiram, and I can kind of go from there and uh, just throw off a Leaf Storm most likely against pretty much this entire team. And uh, be in a pretty good spot, to be honest. So, we'll see. I'll take the damage on Lando if that leads, because I'll always love a hit on Culver. Um, I'll shoot a knockoff. Be in a decent spot from there. Um, and yeah, it looks like his only rocker as well is going to be Terrakion. Doesn't leak. Or no, Bronzong, duh. But only has rocks, I suppose. Is more something like that. Uh, so, you don't have to worry about getting stacked too hard, which is nice. Um, and my rocks are honestly probably more detrimental to him than his are to us. So, that's obviously really nice as well. But good luck on Thunder Bozov. We'll see what he can do. Um, what is he going to lead off with? Vicky. Vicky is Terrakion. I'll take that. I'm going to drop a Leaf Storm. Oh, I haven't seen my Decidueye Sprite in game yet. That's sick. That's really cool. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Leaf Storm here. I'm just going to Leaf Storm here. I lose nothing by doing it. <laughs> Uh, we'll just drop a big Leaf Storm. The only thing that really resists it is going to be either Kyurem and or Serena. Serena, I will for sure take the chip on. So that's actually really, really solid. Um, and yeah, I'll just off a Leaf Storm. He could stay in, go for a Stone Edge. Um, I'll live a Bandit hit for sure. I can roost up later. So he's going to withdraw. So Good lead situation. Timmy's going to come out hard, Kyurem. He said, fuck it. <laughs> Here I come. That is terrifying. Okay. I think I am going to use um, Comfe as a pivot, at the very least. Um, that's still 25%, which I'm here for. Can we get any information off of that? Sidjuai. Kyurem. White. Um, that was like a max roll, and he's offensive. Basically, is what I got from that. It does 22 to 26 if he's no bulk, so we just got a really high roll, and he is, again, offensive. Uh, so that's nice. I'm just going to go into Comfey. I think it's a good middle ground in case he goes for like a sub or a body press or something like that. I know he's offensive, so I know like Comfey will break its sub, which is also really nice. Um, he's just going to Ice Beam. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> a lot. That's specs. <laughs> um, that's specs for sure, right? Yeah. Oh, that's Life Orb Calc. So this is, this is for sure. Choice spec or Ruski. Um... So if I drain and kiss here, I think I just drain and kiss here, right? I think I have to. I don't think I really have another play. That's unfortunate. Maybe he's going to withdraw. I wish I toxic, but just don't think I could have justified doing so. Um, but yeah, I guess he goes Bronzong anyways. Uh, we'll see if he's helmet here. Um, that's for sure Specs Kiram, which is going to be an issue. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of HP back. Yeah, that's uh, that's choice specs, which is again not good. Choice specs. So we know that the chip we get on it is um, like indefinite. Like we always, it's it's going to continuously chip now. Uh, so we just U-turn here. Uh, let's give this Kiram Ice Beam while I do this in the calc. We saw that it was leftovers Bronzong, which is good to know. It likely sits up the rocks right here. If I had to, if I had to guess, um, I am just gonna go Decidueye. I think though, I can throw a Shadow Ball. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go to Sidjuai. I wish I was SD a little bit now, but not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, we are going to see rocks go up, which is a little bit annoying, but we're boots ho -Oh. He doesn't actually have any knock other than Serena, so provided we don't let our ho get knocked by Serena, we'll keep our boots. Uh, no, he has landers too, but like that thing's going to kill him with rock slide anyways. Um, I think I'm just gonna Shadow Ball here. There's no point in Nasty Plotting if he goes hard Kiram again. Um, or even if he just goes hard Serena, you know? I don't see too much of a point in risking that. So I am just going to Shadow Ball and chip off. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Am I, am I modest on this thing? God, Kiram scary, man. <laughs> I ain't got nothing for that mod. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna be able to Shadow Ball here. Comes out the Kyurem. So again, this is a nice chip. It's gonna be at about 50. A part of me, I, I really think he's gonna focus last year or just like drop a Draco and do a ridiculous amount to us. Um, I don't think I wanna risk this thing. I think I go Comfe again. If I sack it, then I sack it. You know what I mean? Like I feel, 
I feel like it just puts me in a better position to uh, go into this thing right here. Yeah. Um, I really think he's. I think he's thinking about focus blasting or Dracoing. I really do. I don't think he let me go into uh, Tar for free. Um, if you ice beam, you ice beam. There's not much I can do. It's ah, I mean, ice beam's kind of free. It's kind of unguardable against my team. <laughs> uh, especially when I'm bro. I mean, like freeze dry. Same thing. But if he can catch that Tar, he's in such a good spot. So I expect him to low key do that. Uh, we've gotten a lot of damage off on this thing, and if I can kill this thing, oh, he's gonna withdraw into. AJ. Okay. I'm gonna toxic this thing. So he would draw. What are he double trying to catch? Is that tar? Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm just gonna toxic this. If he wants to stay in and like teleport, I would love a toxic off on this. If he goes Bronzong and whatever, I'll just U-turn. You know? So I'm just gonna toxic. I'm just gonna toxic. Oh, he let me hit it. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so nice. He had no reason to let me hit that too. I'll take it. Like, actually, he could have just gone Bronzong and then I would just use U turn. So, like, I'm I, I'm aware that he could have just gone hard Bronzong on my Comfey because Comfey is Comfey. Um, but, like, what do I lose in doing that, you know? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, so, we know it's Toxic King, which is good to know. Toxic. Um, has it shown leftovers yet? I don't think it has. I don't think it has leftovers in general. It has not shown leftovers. So I'm just going to aromatherapy here. Getting that toxic off is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, he can teleport here pretty easily. I, I assume he teleports. I would assume he teleports. Surf, because he doesn't want to get skull burned, which is fine. So, I can just drain kiss here. Pretty freely. Or he can just toxic again. Um, Am I okay with letting my decidui get toxic? Not really, to be honest. I feel like it's just not good. Um, I feel like I can just draining kiss here, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna draining kiss. If he wants to toxic me, so be it. Um, I'm getting I'm getting good chip. Uh, and he's just gonna regen all off. Blech, I hate slow king. Slow king's an annoying bitch. God, that month's annoying. Uh, we're just gonna draining kiss. I think he's gonna toxic again, but I don't want to let my uh, Dishujo get toxic. He can surf again too. Uh, but he also doesn't know if my last move is. No, he, I've shown my whole move set. He's just gonna surf. That's fine. Um. See, I thought he would toxic to allow my Decidueye in, but... So, we'll see. I wish I was Synth now, over U-Turn, because uh, this one's unbelievably aids for him to deal with. Um, he actually would not be able to beat this with the Sloking at all. Um, but that's just oversight on my part. I wanted the U-Turn from him. I don't even think it's an oversight. I think it's just, you know, I wanted different things. So, let's go ahead and Draining Kiss one more time. We'll chip this thing down if we can. Um, and if he, sin if he slack offs here, we'll be fine. I see a surf. Um, we haven't seen any of the moves though. We just know it's not AV, which is good information to have for sure. So we're gonna do a kiss again. I don't think this puts us out of range of surf, but he's not regening all of his health off now. And again, he can, um, he can teleport, but then I'm in, out of range of rocks, so. That's nice in itself. So, Surf's gonna pop. We're gonna go down. Now goes Comfey. Um, which is unfortunate. It gives us one less thing for Kiram. But Kiram is Kiram. <laughs> we were maxed for death, and that shit did 70%. So, it's not like we were a great check anyways, you know? Um, and then from here, do I want to go into Tar? And throw off a fat focus punch. I feel like I want to go tar and throw off a fat focus punch. And nuke that Terrakion coming in. They don't have switches to Terrakion. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go tar. I'm gonna click focus punch. 
Um, he dies to like any move I click, and I think he gets his regen back. I'm going to focus punch. It does a ridiculous amount to Serena as well. Um, and it nukes the Terrakion. It just absolutely nukes it. Um, he might not go Terrak just because he can just like take a shit ton from Earthquake. Um, but focus punch kills it. Uh, Earthquake would not kill it, so maybe he doesn't go into it because of that. We will see. I am going to focus punch, though. I don't think you give this to me. I think it's one of your few things of ways of beating. Okay, he did give it to me. He toxic. I feel like that's just a weird play. Why give it to me? Why? 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 It's whatever. It's whatever. It's fine. 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 We just have to beat the uh, the Kiram offensively now. We know it specs. This is gonna die to toxic, so we have to click focus punch with Tyranitar, which is sick. Um, I have Papa. Oh no, it was leftovers. I'm just blind and couldn't see. And it's gonna die to poison. So Comfy's gonna knock out the Sloking with a uh, with poison, which is nice. Uh, we can still save this tar. Kind of. Um, out comes Terrakion. Not good. Um, I got absolutely nothing for that mon. I brought absolutely nothing for that Pokemon. <laughs> so, um, we are in a, uh, we are in a predicament. This is not looking good. If I could just chip that Serena, I can move with my Zygarde, but how do I do so? I could not tell you. Um, I can also just win with Ho-Oh at this point, too. Oh, wait, I live this. I think I'm going to attack this. I live, and I don't have a switch into you. I can use Licks to just be sturdy. I, I I think I'm just gonna attack this thing. The Kyrm's low enough to where I'm not super worried about it anymore, because I have things to offensively beat it. It's Specs. I, like, I know it's off it. I know it's Specs. Focus Blast. Oh, I missed. Sorry about that. I probably died to that. <laughs> I probably died to that. Sorry about that, King. Damn, that sucks. I will not cap. That's awful. Damn. Yeah, I probably died to Focus Blast. I was at 166. Let me check. I'm like 99% sure I did. Um, he should have just gone Terrakion, though. What's my Terrakion switching? Focus Blast. Um, Focus Blast did... I was at 166. It was a roll to kill me. If he's Life Orb. What's left? Do I want to save this? I'm going to what? I don't have anything for it. I feel like I'm just going to focus punch in case he tries to set up my face. I'm not going to let him set up. I refuse. He can just close combat me, but... You know, I, I can't let this thing set up. I think if it sword stances, I just lose. <laughs> I think I just lose if it SDs. Can SD? Oh, come on. Load up the focus punch. I'm back. Good night, Tyranitar. I'll see you later. Appreciate you for getting uh, getting that kill. <laughs> Dodging that focus blast with your nimble self. So we're going to drop there. We don't see an item. We just see that it's close combat. Now, is it my best position in Gozygarde double Ho-Oh? Is it my best position to go Zygarde double Ho-Oh? Or is it my best positioning to go into Steelix and get up my rocks. It's not, because he can still spin with Serena. So I feel like that's not my best positioning. Um, it's either to go Decidueye or to go Zygarde. I feel like it's Zygarde, because he has a Spadef boost from Sand, so I'm forced to go with Leaf Storm, and that lets him the cure him a lot freer, and that is not cool. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double into Ho-Oh and just off a Sacred Fire. Yeah, we're gonna double ho-ho oh, off the Sacred Fire. Try and position it offensively a little bit better. Yep. Cool. So Serena's for sure gonna come in. Um, and this is good positioning for us. Very solid position for us. This thing does not get any type of, um, what do you call it? Move to hit us. Uh, it doesn't get any rock coverage uh, and really any coverage to hit us in general. Uh, Sandstorm's gonna be up for this one more turn, which is, I guess, nice if it's weird sass Serena. Um, it's leftovers Serena. And from here, we just off a very free Sacred Fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna Sacred Fire. Um, Terrakion can come in, but I bid Burn on it. 
and I'm chilling. So if Drakion comes in, it's interesting. <laughs> Uh, Cosmo is going to come in, which is going to be Bronzong. Is this going to be heat proof? Hello? Any heat proof? Burn? Okay. We don't see a burn. How much did we do there? Oh, oh, two. Bronzong. Um, level 50. Bit like physically defensive. Let's see. That looks to be heatproof, right? Hold on. Um, that looks to be heatproof. Um, if he's adamant rock slide, he does not kill us. He has to be adamant to kill us. So I think I'm actually just going to sacred fire here, right? Or I can go tar. I think tar is actually my better play. It's just, oh no, tar's dead. Tar is not my better play. Um. No, I think my safest play is to go Decidueye. Yeah, because I don't want to take Chip on this because it loses a hit from Kiram. So it's just not a good play, I don't think. Oh! Um, yeah, we're going to go Decid. Uh, and I think I'm just going to throw off a Shadow Ball. So we'll just, um, we'll just Shadow Ball here. We'll just Shadow Ball here. Uh, it's gonna get leftovers. It is rock slide, which is again good to know. We're going to shadow ball. Shadow ball is unresisted at this point. Uh, it's rock slide. No, the Serena is leftovers, which is again good to know. We just need to get chip on that Terrakion, and we can just win with flame charge on our um, on our Ho Oh. So that's realistically the only thing stopping us, in my humble opinion. Or. Or if we can get Chip on that Serena, if he goes Serena here. So we're going to force Chip on something. Uh, if he goes into the... Yeah, this is good. This is good, 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 good. This is so good. Hold on. We're just going to Shadow Ball. Ah, oh, down he goes. Uh, well, not down he goes, but Chip he takes. Um, And now I think it's low-key in range of our, what do you call it? But I'm just gonna go into, um, I'm gonna go into Zygarde. I don't think he CCs here. I don't think he CCs here. We still have our Sturdy Licks in the back, which might not even help us that much, to be honest. Um, so maybe it'll be time to sack that thing soon. Uh, we kind of haven't used it in the way in which we should. Stone Edge, she's going to hit. 188 down to 141. 188, 141. Wait, 188 down to 141, so let's go to rack. 188, 141, 188, 141. Sorry, I'm trying to remember how much that is. My phone. We're winning in timer, so it don't really matter. 188 minus 141. 47. Stun is did 47 points of damage. That looks like it's adamant non-boosting item. Right? Yeah, it looks like it's adamant, like a mid-roll from adamant. Yeah, or a high roll from Adamant. Um, I feel like it can just arrows here, right? I could just Toxic. Yeah, I could just Toxic. I'd like to catch that Serena. Um, because I'm still in a good spot if I can chip that thing down, you know? Um, and then from here, what do I do? I just Protect once. Scout a little bit. Scout a little bit, get a little bit of lefties back. Um, and we're in an okay spot, I think. I think. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and protect once. And again, we just need to position our Ho-Oh in on this thing, and we're in a really good spot. Those attacked. Well, Axel. Um, and then from here, does Terrakion die to our Ho-Oh at like 60-ish percent? That's where he's at, right? He does. So maybe our play, unless he's out of Scarf, that's not good. Um, 
Part of me wants to just sack off Decidui here. I think sacking Decidui is my best play, because then I get a free Ho-Oh, and I can flame charge either once or twice and be in a really good position. Um, if he goes hard to Rakion, I might scout for Scarf, though. So we can just die here. Um, we're going to. <laughs> Triple Axel's going to hit. That's one. Two. There we go. So we're down. Um, he didn't U-turn. I figured he might have U-turned as well. Uh, which would have been fine, but... And then from here, I think I just go into Ho-Oh and I click Flame Charge. Right? I think Flame Charge is just... It's flame Charb. Flame Charge is just my best positioning at this point. It won't kill too, so like, I'll be able to get two Flame Charges off if he stays in here to sack us off. And if he does that, then I win. Sorry, doorbell just rang and Snowy is not happy about it. Yeah, it's alright. We'll be okay. Um, we're gonna Flame Charge here. Let me grab my dog. Man. It's okay. He's gonna withdraw out into... Cosmo. Which I think Flame Charge into Sacred Fire will kill this thing. Based on the damage that we did before. I think it will kill. Ma'am. So let's go ahead and I almost should have clicked with my mouse. Go for Sacred Fire. Ma'am. Stop. Look at her. You're kidding me. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And now he's out of range. Um, we live that and then we get a flame charge again, we won. So that's, that's, um. Hey guys, just cutting in real quick. Um, for the first time, not because I was, uh, you know, uh, acted a fool in a game, which is nice. Uh, but I did want to mention, um, this hacks did suck for sure, but it was completely avoidable in the sense that I could have roosted off this damage and I think it might've just been the tilt in the moment. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Um, because I could have roosted it off and still won with Ho-Oh. Um, but so half of it's like, you know, uh oh, Owen missed a sacred fire. That sucks. But also half of it is me not realizing I can just roost off the damage because it's a bronze song. It's not doing a lot of damage to me. So, uh, it, it's realistically mostly my fault for not realizing that. And I did want to at least mention that because, um, I feel like that's important information to like, you know, recognize, you know, my shortcomings in that sense. But, uh, yeah, let's jump right back into the game. Super whack. <laughs> That's, uh, that's super whack. I think that lost us the game. I think the game's over now. I don't think there's anything that we can do. Lost now. Yeah, I think the game's over. Maybe I should just pivot it out into Zygarde right here. Save this thing to flame charge later. That tilted the hell out of me. That sucks, man. Miss Sacred Fire. Yeah, I died. Miss? Miss? No. Cool. I want my dog out. Yeah, um, <laughs> don't know what I do about that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I do. I think I lose now. Um, I think I go into this. He's going to be toxic though, so like I can't win. Um, that's unfortunate. I think we won with Ho Oh. Because I sacred fired, even if I didn't kill that first one, I flame charged again, and I won. Um, so that sucks. But what can I do? I mean, I dodged a focus blast earlier, but I don't think that was half as big as the the sacred fire dodge there. You know, I still have ways of beating that. I don't know. <laughs> That's very tilting. Um, what can you do though? That's super tilting. We'll just dragon dance though, um, and hope I can like just dodge triple axles. I think is my best play. So, let's see. It's literally just dodging triple axles is my best play. He might not... He might not toxic because he thinks I'm sub. I don't know. He could also just gyro ball. So, I don't think I'm in a position where I can win. Um, Yeah, I think I'm in a position where I lose now. Gyro ball. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of damage. See ya. So, unless I dodge a uh, triple axel, I think the game is over. <laughs> um, I would love to dodge a triple axel. 
after missing, but you know, you can't ask for hacks. Then it does not happen. <laughs> so we'll see. I think we might drop this one though. So we're able to get another kill with Zygarde, so we boost the, the Zygarde stats on the season. I think he's our kill leader right now. Oh, I would have gotten the Ho-Oh sweep. That would have been a sick thumbnail, too. Oh. Oh, well. And yeah, he just goes Serena, and I think he wins the game. So we'll see. But I think it's a uh, checkmate position for your boy. Oh, he's also Scarf Terrakion. So yeah, I would have just Flame Charged twice, but it's so annoying. <laughs> I hate it here. Um, I'm gonna protect once. I mean, if he misclicks, I'm good. I don't know if I live this. Scarf Adamant? The roll. 110, what's, what's the one I'm at? 110, I would love the diff. That'd be sick. It's only an 18% chance to kill me if you scarf adamant. Um, so if I get that roll, that's pretty sick. Just gonna arrows. You should know that my move slot is just, it's just toxic tech arrows DD. So, oh, okay. What is he doing? <laughs> Hello, sir? <laughs> um, if he misses a lot of moves, can we win? I think the answer is no. We will see. Um. So Serena, why did they give Serena triple Axel? I won this game, but they didn't. Um. You're right. Plus one. Uh, I'm going to protect here, and then I dragon dance the next turn, hoping he misses. We're gonna protect. Sent. That's the game. <laughs> Maybe I should have dragged it into there hoping he missed. That would have been better positioning. Um, so yeah, I think that's the whole game. Uh, he's sent. So unless he misses like three triple axles, which throw one up. Hope for the best. Throw one up. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna drag it into here. Hope he misses. Swing and a miss. Um, unless Zygarde can just cheese its way through this game, which it definitely should. Triple Axel, Triple Axel, we're gonna have a miss. One hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. Who gets two? Two hits, two hits, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, um, GG Sabosa, that sucked. I won't lie, I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm super upset with that because I think we did position our end game to win um, pretty well, but what can you do? Oh, I still have a Pokemon left. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I still clues. Um, yeah. Like I said, it is very unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. Um, I can get up my rocks here. Hope he misclicks with Terrakion. And then misses Draco Meteor instead of clicking Ice Beam with his thing. Or I can just play for Diff and go for Ice Fang. I think I'm just gonna play for Diff and go for Ice Fang. Yeah, like I said, um... Very, very frustrating. Or I guess he could have missed a lot of attacks. That uh, does nothing. I'm offensive. Um, yeah, like I said, very frustrating because um, I think we did position ourselves to win the game, <laughs> like as a whole. But again, what can you do? You know, um, just about nothing. If the Karen wasn't into rocks, then maybe I could like cheese this one out if he missed Iron Head, if he missed a couple powers. But um, yeah, GG to both of it sucks, but it's Pokemon, you know. Uh, we're gonna see. I'm gonna get one more diff point. I think Zygarde will get the kill because I don't think Iron Head will kill. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Zygarde. Don't kill. Never mind. She just got the kill. Unfortunate. Um, but yeah. GG's. Uh, we have to bounce back next week. I think, uh, we're playing fine. Week one, we just lost to Glade. I, we played really well. This week, I think we played fine. Um, in a really bad matchup, to be, uh, completely honest. So, um, you know, just that one miss. Really sucked. I didn't even know Sacred Fire could miss if I'm keeping it a buck with you guys. Um, but it can. It's gonna Earth Power here, and uh, goodbye, Steelix. I'll see you later. Um, yeah, definitely go check out both in the description below, though. He's a very nice guy, and um, he makes good content. He's a solid player. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.